Hey guys, happy post Briar Fest. I hope everyone that attended Briar Fest, both in person and online, had a great time. I hope you got everything that you wanted. I'm sad that it's over already. I wish we could just rewind and do it all again, but there's always next year and I am so looking forward to next year. I really like next year's theme, but for this Briar Fest, I had an amazing time. I got so many horses, as you can see here. I had trouble fitting them all on my bed, honestly. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing time this year. I love seeing all you guys in person again. Um, this year was the first year my boyfriend went with me and um, he's just, he's so supportive in my hobby. And honestly, he made this year so great and so awesome. So shout out to him. But today, I wanted to show you guys my official Briar Fest 2023 haul. So, yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off in no particular order. First, I got Siri and Axel. Here's Siri. Cute little mama. And here's Axel. I got the standing variation, which is the one I wanted. I like the, the action fold too, but I like the standing fold better. And then, I got Penny Time. So cute, she's such a cute little donkey. So very, very cute. I love the purple variation too. I like both, I liked all the variations this year. All of them were just really, really, really pretty. And then I got Wells. I got the glossy variation, which I was really happy about. That was the one I was hoping for. He's so, so pretty. I love him. I love him so much. And then I got Jump and Drive. I didn't originally have him, but I bought a ticket from someone. He is really, really pretty. I'm glad I did. I got the loose main version, which is the one that I wanted. I got really lucky with all of my special ones this year. Like, I got everything that I wanted. Like, it just went so smoothly this year. That was awesome. And then I only got three stable mates this year because um, I was being really picky about what stable mates I got. Um, but I got this little dude for my Mustang Conga. And then I found this guy. He's part of the World of Equestrian Games. I have four others new in pack and I don't have this guy. So I just have three more to track down. And then I got this little guy. He is a porcelain what year he's from. Let me turn him around real carefully. Portuguese Lusitano. I have the Shire porcelain, so now I have him. Very, very nice guy. And I get this little foal. I'll probably put him out in the sun a little bit. He's not too yellowed. He might even not be yellowed at all, but he's in really nice condition. I got him for like $8. So I was like, heck yeah. And he's super cute too. A little happy bow. And then up here, I got Violetia. And oh my god, I love her so much. She was my favorite guest horse this year. Favorite limited edition this year. Oh, I love her so much. I know she's just like an almost solid white model, but I think she is just so, so pretty. And I got one with a lot of pinking on the, her nose. A lot of pinking on her eyes and her ears. I just think she is so cute. Such a cute little mama. I loved her and her baby, too. Over here, I got... Sundance. I have been after him for a long time. So I finally found one for a good price. And he is in excellent condition. So that's another added to the Nakota Conga. And also here is the Pinto Shelby, who I was doing a pickup from someone. So I would already pretty much had him purchased pre breakfast. So now I have all of the Shelbys. And over here we have Tilly. Such a cute girl. Very, very cute. I tried to get one that was like a little bit darker, but honestly, 
all of them kind of look the same, to be completely honest. But um, she has really crisp markings, so I was happy for that. I love how pearlescent her mane and tail is. Um, I love how Briar just like went out all out with the pearlescent this year. Honestly, I love pearlescent models. And this year, they did not disappoint because, especially with these guys, oh my god, I am so glad that the surprise horse was Hamilton. I flipped when I saw the first person open. I was like, oh my god, it's Hamilton. It's Hamilton. Oh my god. He's so pretty. Oh, I love his pearlescent. It's pearlescent white. So, I originally got a, a, um, matte gray and I traded it for this boy the black and white one very nice boy and then this guy I bought second hand he's the matte buckskin he's got a little spot on his face but I don't care I'm not gonna show him I just wanted one so I could have like a completed uh, realistic color um, versions of them um, I'm not really a fan of the deco, so I'm not really, I don't plan on getting the deco. Um, and I don't have the chestnut, but I am planning on buying the chestnut secondhand a little bit later on. But I have the other four, as you can see. And then this guy, he was my first pull. Glossy gray. Super pretty boy. This was the first... Briarfest, I have ever pulled a glossy surprise horse. I have done nine Briarfests. This is my ninth year, and I have never pulled a glossy before. So it was about time. <laughs> but yeah, beautiful, beautiful boy. Nice dappling. And then my favorite out of all of them was this boy. Oh my god, I'm so glad I pulled him. And he is glossy. It's kind of hard to tell because he's so white. But he is glossy, as you can see. I didn't realize that he was glossy at first when I was at the park. But then I got back to the room and I looked at him again. And I was like, oh my god, he's glossy. Like, what? What? <clears throat> Such a cute boy. So cute. And then over here, <laughs> got another Hamilton. This is... Mark of Charm, I think is his name. Got him with the Clarion, pretty cheap. So yeah, honestly, I was just trying to get as many Hamiltons this year as I could. Um, I found all except the original Hamilton. I could not find the original Hamilton anywhere. So that was kind of sad. But anyway, I got these boys, so I'm happy. Then I have Lafayette. He was actually my first purchase of Briarfest. Pretty boy. He has really his nice dappling. I've seen some that don't really have hardly any dappling. He's got some nice dappling, so I like him. Very nice boy. And then I picked up a truly unsurpassed at the Clarion for really, really cheap. I really wanted her for my Lady Face Conga, but I didn't want to pay like full price for her. So I got her for, I think, I think she was like $25. So she was like pretty cheap. But yeah, I'm really happy to add her to my lady face conga. And then up here, I got Cody. She's really pretty. And I think she's a little bit yellowed, which honestly I didn't notice at first when I bought her. Cause I bought her from the Clarion and the Clarion doesn't really have the best lighting. So, yeah, but that's okay. Nothing a little sunlight won't fix. But I got her for my Roxy Conga. And then along the way back here, I got Savannah Dial. Very pretty girl in the Indian Pony Mold. She has a blue eye on this side. And then this side, she has a split eye. It's blue and brown. Very pretty girl. She is in really nice condition. I've been looking for her for a long time, but a lot of the ones I found was like all scratched up, but she's in really nice condition. So I was really, really happy about that. 
And then next to her, I got Danny. She is the 2021, hold on. Yes, Briarfest 2021 Silver Person uh, horse. I didn't do Briarfest 2021, so I did not originally have her, and I really, really wanted her because she is just, she is so pretty. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Such a gorgeous horse. And then up here, I got Fleet Street Max. I have been wanting him for so long, and I've never gotten him. Uh, I got him at the swap meet, I think, for only like $25. He's in pretty good condition for a model that's as old as he is. But yeah, he's kind of like one of those childhood horses that I wanted like when I first started collecting. So yeah, happy to add this boy. And then all the way back there, I'm gonna have to go around my bed get to these guys. I got Mary Posa and Floor, I think it's his name. I got these two from the Kentucky Horse Park gift shop uh, and I got them there for base price which I was really happy about because everywhere else at the Clarion people wanted like $150 or more. I really didn't want to pay that so <laughs> yeah. And then I got, I think you pronounce his name, Mojave. Correct me if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I also got him at the Kentucky Horse Park uh, Gift Center. Beautiful boy, beautiful. Love his eyes, he is so detailed for a regular run. So nice. I love this boy so much, like oh my god. I love them all too. <laughs> and then back here, I have this little girl, she's a classic. Her name is Platinum. She is a uh, Fun Day collectible from 2009. And I have been after her for a long time. And I was really hoping to find her at Briarfest. And I found her for only $25. So, yes, really, really happy about that. And then up here, I got the Best of Briarfest. Uh, what series is the Series 4. For this year i think my favorite out of these is this guy because i actually used to own the um the traditional size of this guy he is gorgeous 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 but um i sold him a long time ago but yeah that is those and then back there we have Bravor. i haven't taken him out of the box yet so i thought i'd just show him to you in his little box and then we have Chocolate, which I have not taken out of the box yet either. And I got him at the um, Briar store also to add to my Roxy combo. I almost forgot to show these pins that I got. I got these two Roxy pins, which I thought was awesome. This Northern Dancer and Tortillas pin. Got all four of these for only five bucks. So yeah, almost forgot to show you guys these, so. Yep. So yeah, that is my Briarfest 2023 haul. Like I said, I had an amazing time at Briarfest this year. I can't wait till next year. I really hope I get to go. But yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have a haul video, uh, comment below. I would love to see it. I love watching these haul videos. Like it's just like a drug to me. I love, 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 love watching Briarfest haul videos. So yeah. Bye, guys.